Hi folks, I'm smoking my Peterson um, 2017 Christmas pipe and in it I've got the tobacco that I want to review. Which is Flanagan Flake. This is part of the um, Hugh Tobacco's range. Um, it's an Oriental blend, Oriental Forward, Bulgarian Orientals. Has dark fired Kentucky. Um, and sweet Zambian um, from from Zambia rather, and it's got a touch of perique. It really is a nice smoke. It's one that I like very much. It's a strong blend, um, full bodied. Let me just light it. that down. The flakes can be quite difficult to get out of the tin, they're all sort of stuck together. Um, so it does make it slightly difficult, well it makes it virtually impossible. Um, let's see whether I can get at least something out of them. Well let's take the bunch out so that you can get a look at the tobaccos. You can see the Orientals, the dark fired. Um, it's a lovely blend. Although they're stuck together, it's not sort of damp or wet. It smokes straight away. And if you can get an individual flake out, then you can just stuff, fold and stuff it. It rubs down very easily into a very nice smokable tobacco. There's a, a very nice sort of sweet, slightly alcoholic smell, but the, but I don't think there's any alcohol in it. Um, I think, to be honest, that comes from the Orientals that are in it. And it's part of the Hughes United Passion Blends. It's very easy to light, very easy to smoke. Straight from the tin. Absolutely a pleasure, really. Very creamy smoke, but it's it's cool smoke. Again, I think because of the high orientals in it. The Kentucky sort of spicy and smoky notes in it and the perique and Virginia give a sort of toasted bread flour that you'd expect from that type of tobacco. Toasted flavour, not flour. The harder you puff, the more it, the Kentucky comes forward. And as you smoke it in different ways, you do actually get different aspects of the tobacco coming out.
could sort of have hmm. a spiciness about it, a tartness about it, but that's in a nice way, not in a sort of um, nasty way. The Orientals and Kentuckys sort of blend together really well and give a, a very pleasant smoke. It's got a coolness about it, a mildness about it. And the smoothness of the smoke, I think, comes from that combination of um, Kentucky and Virginia. It's the type of tobacco that would be good for lunting with out in the fresh air because I think the um, taste would develop there. As I say, the tin note is slightly aromatic but there is no flavouring um, except for the natural tobaccos, which is a, a good, good thing. I, I don't like sort of flavoured tobaccos too much. They tend to be tongue bite. It's maybe a tobacco for the more experienced smoker because of its strength, but it's also one that I think somebody who wanted to move on a bit would would appreciate because it's not um, bitter or or overly difficult in smoking. Uh, just I suggest that you'd have a meal first or something to eat first, if not, have a piece of chocolate around you, because chocolate's very good if you get a nicotine reaction. I don't get nicotine reactions. I'm getting more and more drawn to continental tobaccos, especially to the Hue range. And I'll probably do a, a review of Fayab and of Asmara and Zulu next. If it does go out yeah, and you leave it for a while and relight it, it's very soon back into the flavour it was. You don't get sort of a build-up of tars and nasty tastes. I really do recommend these tobaccos. They're becoming part of my um, regular smokes and if you need the address of 
where to get them from, just let me know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I've gone on probably too long. And it's probably not a very good review anyway. But we shall see.